the channel. I am already back at New Town here for the Riverside Drift 50K shootout. This time, we are going to be driving in the stadium where Adam just won and got his first Pro 1 FD win. I know we to know. So, Adam's also here. He's not driving the S15, that's his backup car. He's driving the E36 that so they just finished putting back together. It's practice time. Let's see what she can do. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that in retrospect. Yeah. But like, you know how many people that happens to and they get sucked right into the wall? That I was mean, an amazing save. You stayed on the throttle and you got out of it. Man, my entry was sick. That was probably my best one that I've done the entire time. And I was into outer two and I fired off just a little bit too late and caught the wall. That sucks and my head hurts now. Thanks for the Advil. Oh. A little bit. Don't buff out, you know? Will it? Yeah, yeah. Holy buff out, yeah. Totally fine. Totally fine. We're good. Not 
didn't touch any suspension, just body panel, a little bit of fire blast. That's actually very surprising. Yeah. It felt real aggressive. Yeah, I thought- like, legit the just grabbed a little corner here. Yeah, I'm thinking that it wasn't the wheel. Don't let a bump in the road or an accident slow you down. Call an attorney, call Morton and Morton. The average driver will get into four vehicle accidents in their lifetime, but many don't get the compensation that they deserve. In order to file a successful auto claim, the other person must be responsible for the collision. There either needs to be damages to the vehicle or to the person. The value of any case is determined by a few things, medical bills, auto damage, lost wages, and much more. Document everything. And I mean everything. Remember to contact the police and your insurance company and make sure you get all the other drivers information. You can call Morton and Morton at pound 529. <laughs> Because I now have to qualify a second time because I zeroed, um, that means I can I'm stuck in the bottom part of the bracket, which means I'm gonna have a really tough first battle, which is not what I wanted. I literally just wanted to qualify well so that I would have a good first battle, especially since I'm definitely gonna be out tired with most people here. It'll be interesting to see how that shakes up, but I do get to go for one more qualifying in like 20 minutes. Really? Ready? You're so pretty. You're so pretty. <laughs> Pete wasn't impressed. He wasn't impressed with that. So I'm not stoked about it, but my last hit was definitely a lot harder than I realized at the time. I have a massive headache. That should be at least a score, just not a good run, but a run. fixating on figuring out outer two and I'm just not getting on power early enough in one so I'm and I don't have enough angle coming out of one that I'm just shallow and carrying so much speed into outer two and I went into the wall again like my my entire world is rocked right now I do not feel good it's frustrating because like now I thought yesterday's wreck was bad 
no. Today was a lot worse, Corvette. Pretty much uh, donezo on that one side, bent in all the fiberglass and the bash bar um, and the bumper. <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's not, it's not funny, it sucks. Now I feel my whiplash is like double whiplash, which, which is not fun. Started staying the car back together. Luckily on, on both of these incidents, I didn't hit the tire. So like in theory, if I was in a S chassis or my RX-7, maybe I would have just, you know, hit the rear of the car and done a wall tap. But in a Corvette, that rear of the car pretty much like is the full car. You don't have much rear bumper to play with. It is what it is. Oh. Can you say everything you just said again? <laughs> what did I say? The last clip was this disintegrated. Oh yeah, so uh, I made some self clearancing stuff over here. We had a little bit of altercation with the wall. So uh, everything's held in nice and tight. We got some screws in there, <laughs> ready to go, you know? And you had to clearance the wheel? Yeah. And I guess everything got everything pushed Everything kind of just like shoved up into the wheel, batteries pushed up in there, but it's ready to rip if you are. That battery's not coming out. Oh, no. Ever. No, it's not coming out. You're going to no. have to cut that thing out of there. It's, it's wedged in there pretty hard. Yep. But we got her all sorted, so didn't get into the wheel. Like nothing like actually got yeah. into the wheel. It was just all fiberglass that pushed up. Thanks, so, dude. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I was just about to go out and that we were noticed that the rear wheel over here is way more in than we think it was before. If you looked at this rear wheel and you looked at the front and the wheel in the front is pretty much straight. Then look at this side. Even though the toe was basically the same, did I hit it so hard that like the subframe moved over? Which honestly, I wouldn't doubt it because that ha that was probably one of the hardest hits I've ever had. Um, but the toe is the same. And then I didn't actually hit the wheel, hit the bash bar, but the bash bar might have transferred the force and moved everything. I don't know. Because if the car was perfect, like it hurt pretty bad for nothing to have been tweaked. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it back on the ground and toe plate it again. Okay. The eccentric lockout bolt on the lower arm loosened up and moved the, the lower control arm, which was causing it to have toe in. And the amount of toe in it had pretty much matched what the toe plate said. So I lined that back up, put it on the ground, toe plate it again, it should be all right. over it. 
It is the crane sensor and unfortunately you have to move too much stuff to get to it to swap it in time before battle starts. I'm on the left side of the bracket and there are a lot of buy runs. So many people totaled the car today that they ended up giving out way more buy runs. So my battle is actually up very, very soon. The C6 is definitely a drift car now, to say the least. She broke in. I am glad that I was able to get back out on track pretty immediately, like just mentally, like to jump back into it really fast so that the last thing you did wasn't that accident. Sometimes that just makes it worse mentally long term. So yeah, E-Town uh, has not been the greatest track for me. I love everybody that works here. Shout out Chris Knapp, he's been amazing. We've been making our home at their shop and they've like really been supportive and helping us out. It is what it is, that is the end of this very, very awful weekend, which you know, maybe it's just, it's just a sign. I've been trying to keep my head up, take away as much as I can in terms of lessons from this weekend. And as of right now, officially turned into a cheerleader for Adam. I'm really glad the puppies are here. They cheer me up. So we're gonna go out. Adam's about to have his very first battle in comp. We're gonna cheer him on. That is it for this video, finally. I am I'm actually very glad to be ending this right now. This was this was a lot. So I will see you guys in the next video. Rally beat.